YouTube. I'm going to do something unprecedented for this week. I'm going to share with you two bits of good news. Good news number one. The Bunny stream is doing fantastically. Better than I could have imagined this early on. And if the growth continues, I mean, it's no telling how quickly we'll be able to get a Bunny Rescue started up. If you don't know, uh, my fiance and I have started a 24-hour live stream, top link in the description, that if you just leave it on, it supports us incredibly. Like, just judging at the initial numbers from the first two days, might make a few thousand dollars a month, and that's more than enough to get things started on housing a few bunnies. So uh, that's amazing and insane, and I hope that it just continues to grow, and I'll keep you updated. Second thing, more modded content. Like, actually, it's this mod that was recommended to me, and, and it was gifted 20 subs for. Um, it is called the Lobotomy Mod, and it adds so much. So cards, when you first get them, they're not real cards. They do the real card thing, but you don't know what they do, and you have to unlock what they do. And it's really cool, and it's a fun mechanic, and it's also really hard, because every card is a good side. But it also has, like, a downside. Like, a card will heal you for 1 HP, but if you play another card, it, give, it deals 50 damage to you. And you don't know that. I didn't know that. Whoops. Okay, I'll see you tomorrow. Mwah. Do I have to play the Watcher? Damn it. All right. Okay. Why abandon? Because if you do that on the other characters, you unlock the next character. Should I play on Ascension 20 or should we maybe play on like Ascension 15? Just because it's a new mod we're entering into. It's more enjoyable to not have to stress about Ascension 20 things. This is the Lobotomy mod. I don't know everything about it. I just know it adds a bunch of sh to the game, including getting a bucket. I didn't read what the bucket did, but do I even care? Because I can get a bucket. At the end of combat, gain a special reward. Gain PE based on your abnormality cards. You can use PE to unlock information for abnormality cards. Special card only can be obtained from buckets rewards. Okay. Bucket, let's start the run, chat. <clears throat> I'll take a cleave. Abnormalities are a special kind of special cards. You can't see their real information, including their rarity. At the end of combat, if you have an abnormality card, you'll gain PE bonuses. You can unlock abnormalities information at the single card view screen. It'll become PE according to its rarity. So I can't see anything about the card, but at the end of combat, if you have abnormality cards, you will gain PE. And then you can unlock the abnormalities information at the single card view screen. Abnormality cards have several effects. These information can't unlock once. You can check unlocked information in the library, but can't unlock new information there. Unlocking information will be saved as PE. Okay. During the abnormality selection, if you have more than 20 PE, you can get another selection of abnormalities to pick by incurring a 20 PE cost. It feeds on the evil that certain. I'm coming to you. This is just what Twitch chat tells me every day. No, thank you. What if I upgrade it? Oh, I can't. I wanted to try. It has an X cost. Oh, I can't even use it.
Carnage. Oh yeah, Carnage just. Tw I clicked. I clicked too fast. I'm saving and quitting. I clicked too fast. It already. Oh no, no, it didn't take it. It didn't take it. It didn't take it. Can you give me the armaments. Oh, that's cool. I guess. You lost it. That's fine. I can. I could not have another one. I don't know if I want another one right now, man. Currently, this one blows me up. How much damage did that do? Plus eight. So that'd be 95. It did like... Two energy, 17 damage. Twenty-four damage. Maybe that was upgraded though. What is re-extraction, man? Rerolls. Okay. I'm not taking another one right now, man. This scares the shit out of me. So it takes 20 to re-roll. Okay. Yeah, I need to figure out how to unlock information about my card. How do I do that? Shrug me. Could be Gremlin Knob coming up. Okay, we get the kill next turn with our Giga cards. We can see if it's a strike. <laughs> Take a brutality. Specific combats will be replaced with an ordeal. Ordeals will go in order as a dawn, noon, dusk. Defeating an ordeal can net you a special reward. After you defeat the dusk ordeal, the boss of beyond will be replaced with the midnight ordeal. I'm gonna go for the lowest health one. But it striked him. I could have killed him. What did it? Did it just exhaust every card that I played last turn? Take another card here. I'm going to take another F card. And then I can unlock stuff about this card, right? Deal 20 damage to all enemies. Increase this damage dealt by this card by one for each card in your hand. Ethereal. So why... So I need to unlock more to understand why it's dealing damage to me. Right? And it originally was only dealing 20 damage to one, but it's supposed to be 20 damage to all. Incredible.
So by unlocking that, I actually got it to do more. That's really cool. Okay. I could take another card. Or could I unlock more from this? When this is exhausted, deal 30 damage to yourself. That, yep, no, that would make sense. <laughs> that would, um... Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, that would make sense, yeah. How much does it cost to unlock info? I think it depends on the type of card. We still don't know what this other card does. And I don't know if I'm going to figure it out. It costed zero and did nothing. Took two life when I drew it. Love that for me. So this doesn't have an upgrade? They thought it would have an upgrade, man. All right, GG. Okay, okay. I had an extra energy the next turn. Mm. Okay. So now we, hey, we permanently know what Scorched Girl is now, though. If, if Scorched Girl shows up again, we'll know what it, give me the bucket. Give me the damn bucket. I'm going in at 820. I can take it. Now that I know what the mod is, it won't defeat me again. I could take another scorched girl or I could eat somebody's dreams. One of the chat if you want me to eat your dreams. Is that one mana intangible? That's not a flower, they said. I want a flower. It is now. Okay, I don't want this card. What is this? Why does it have a... Is it mimicking another card? It gave me block. Wait, what? Give me a sneaky strike. I want to know what the hell this card does, man. Gain five block at the end of every turn. Meet lantern. But it, I want hands or something. This just straight up healed me. <laughs> okay, so the flower card, it seems, meat flower, seems if you play the card with the flower on it, you die. But it gives you five block every turn. But it it infects your cards. And if you and if you
I uh got a lobotomy. Okay, I can take another scorched girl here. I I I, 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 I think I'll take it. Yeah. Give you a deflect as well. Scorched Squirrel is really good on this character because of the fact that I have extra draw on turn one, right? Very good. This sounds like something that Kindred would say. But the curse continued, never removed. Your Kindred voice is really good. But the curse cursed, but never cursed. Give me a footwork. Um, unlock. Gain six block. <laughs> okay, it doesn't, it doesn't sound, it sounds like it's going to do more than just give me six block, man. Tales of the Moon bewitched a man. Did I even take the other card reward? I don't even think I took anything else. I think I just skipped everything else. Wait, I gained a dex and a strength whenever I drew it. Never won. Without the other. This card gains exhaust after playing it. Okay. Wait, that's not that bad. Wait, the music's getting a little bit gross. And by gross, I mean making me feel emotions. Children's tears. was like a bullet time effect. Okay. You know what this song reminds me of? Is it actually Moon Knight Sonata from Be from Beethoven? It's just what I think of when I hear it, because this was used in a Spider-Man Web of Shadows trailer. Why are we back to this music? Don't like that. My whole ass hand exhausted. I need to see what the rest of this card does then. This card gains exhaust after playing it. When this card exhausts, a random card becomes a copy of this card. So then one of these cards is... It costs too much to... These are rare cards. What happens when people die, chat? What happens?
Good fight. <laughs> good fight, good fight. Way to go. All right, let's see. Uncontrollable, meaning effects trigger when drawn. Temporarily changes the current song to Luna Sonata. Has no effect if Luna Sonata is already playing. When Luna Sonata is playing, gain one strength and dex. What happens if I'm just playing it? Like, what happens if I just turn it on right now? Have you fallen to the lowest bottom? I'm a Twitch streamer. Yes. Active. Record your current state. The next time you activate this relic in combat, restore your state to the recorded state. Not entirely reliable and lose this relic. Should I take another meat lantern chat? Second footwork or a bane? Give me a second footwork. Feed. I don't know. It says feed, man. Okay, wait. What do I need to look at right now? I need to look at the what, what happens when I meet Lantern. At the start of combat, this card attaches itself to a random card. If the attached card is played, deal 50 damage to yourself. Okay. Yeah, okay. That makes sense. The third movement during Luna Sonata lasts longer and doubles the strength gained. But every five seconds while the song is still playing, deal two damage to yourself. Wait, so if I just leave the fucking song on, I'll, I'll gain, I'll double my strength in dex, but I'll take damage during the damn song. So if I just, it literally is giving me a reason to stall. Am I reading that correctly? Okay, there's my flower. Can't play that. Dude, wait. What if flower puts itself on Scorched Girl? Then you're kind of fucked. Yeah. I'm realizing that. Kunai is amazing. Okay, we love that. Uh, Doppelganger is really good for the girl. I'm not gonna take another card right now. I, I need to. I need to hold out just a little bit. What happens when people die? Draw a card, and then heal one HP, gain one block, deal one damage to all enemies. So this just happens when I draw the card. Okay. Can I unlock this? No. Can I unlock this? Uncontrollable, remove a random debuff from yourself. Okay. What is this mod called? It's called... Lobotomy. Wait, this... It doesn't do anything else. When this card is in your hand, any card you exhaust is removed from your deck. What? 
When this card is in your hand, any card you exhaust is also removed from the drop pool? What happened? Mr. Frost, what happens when cards die? <laughs> well, little one. When cards die. Okay, flower is on that for now. Okay. Right click the bucket real quick. No. I don't right click that because I don't want to activate and fly back to the 19th century. Did it remove a Sender's Bane from your deck? Something did. Oh, wait, I could have played this first in order to have more things. Sender's Bane was removed because it was exhausted. Oh. That's pretty cool. Because it was in the same hand. Yeah, that makes, real, that makes a lot of sense. Shit, man. Do I ever take a bullet time here? Life is only given to those who do not fear death. Batman! 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 Okay. What do we need to upgrade still? You're fully upgraded. All cards in your hand cost one energy less. Okay. The child of the galaxy. Gain six block ethereal. Something tells me that I don't want to let it get ethereal. <laughs> Only weak actions were heard to us. Excuse me? Huh? It's hurting me. It's it's just hurting me. It's just dealing damage slowly. Go, 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 go. It's rustling. It's exhausting my fucking deck, man. I gained the block at the perfect time. Did you see that? I like trees. Giant tree sap. Gain six regen. As a chance to reduce your max HP by 15. The chance increases on consecutive uses and resets when the effect is triggered. Wait, it fucking killed me as it spawned in. Wait, no. It's because it exhausted, um, it exhaust, it exhausted my child. Or it exhausted Scorched Earth, or it exhausted the card that had the meat on it. That's why I took damage. It's because if, if the meat card, or the meat lantern card is exhausted, it deals 50 damage to myself. And if this is exhausted, 
it deals 30 damage to myself. And I lost Doppelganger, but that's okay. That's fine. 07. We need to discover more about you. This card is, if this card is not played during your turn, increase its cost by one at the end of your turn to a maximum of five. If the cost of this card is higher than four at the end of your turn, exhaust all cards in that, all cards that have their cost reduced by this card. Holy ass. Okay. 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 Fight order. I played, I played the, I played the lantern card. I played the meat card. I, I meat it all over the place. I meat it, man. I meat it all over my shit. I just like, I blew my stinky meat, bro. I just like fucking, I don't even have a mouse anymore. The game took my damn mouse. I'm going back to the ironclad. Give me my bucket back. Wait, what? Look back. What? When you look back, you feel your spirit leaving your body and going to a strange place. You see a beautiful lady standing in front of you. Hello. You excuse my bluntness. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Angela, an AI. I don't want to play this mod anymore. I'm so sorry. Don't. I don't believe in AI. The object you're carrying, called Bucket, belongs to the L L L L Lobotomy Corporation. And I stand before you as a representative of said corporation. Don't worry, I won't ask you to give it back. And it's not your responsibility. It is rather your effort that interests me. Now, you may choose. If you are not ready, you may consider further and answer next time. If you wish to give the bucket back, we will compensate you. If you continue, we won't refuse, for it will benefit us both. Requires information of abnormalities unlocked more than 60% and more than 30%, so we have to answer next time. Very well. You're back in the spire in the span of a single blink. <laughs> hey, I'm back. Chat ads start in 60 seconds. If you want to see those ads, please consider subscribing. This is my full-time gig, so it supports me greatly. Yeah. <laughs> the hollow pride of a weathered knight. Chad, if I take this, do you think they'll release sing Silk Song? Costed one mana, increase block gained by cards 50%. But it hurts me. Because of course it fucking hurts me. Not a single employee volunteered to retrieve their corpse from the cocoon colleague. That cocoon colleague was a landlord, so he's a piece of shit. It's fine. Seagulls. All right, let's unlock some of these cards. When this card is played, gain a blessing. Gain 50% more block this combat.
But it does seem that if I if I ever don't fully block something, that that's bad. Egg. So we really, really, really through this want a barricade. We want barricade over everything. Barricade over everything. So that just exhausts a random card. I don't like that. I'm gonna say something a little controversial and liberals can get mad at me all you want because I don't care but silence if you aren't subbed and or at least following at August Buns you hate animals but seriously go follow to support Frost and August. Oh, it's anytime you take damage. Weird. Can I play it twice? No, it doesn't work twice, but does the damage work twice? No, okay. It made me draw more cards. I'm dead. I'm learning, I'm learning, man. I'm learning, I'm learning, I'm learning, I'm learning, I'm learning. All right, write it back. We have not, we can't, we, we have not learned enough. We cannot, we cannot look back. The more blood it has, the more beautiful it is. I want to be under the fairy's care. Please explain what's going on. We're playing a mod called the Lobotomy mod. And we have to discover what cards do. That shit healed me. my dreams okay so that costed more than zero it's healing me quite a lot Take an iron wave. Heal one HP. <laughs> what a crazy concept in a card, huh? I mean, it's free. I'm Sneckoed out of my mind. I love this. I love this card. The card I just took has made me Sneko. This is the greatest thing that has ever happened. Duvu doll. What the hell do you do? Oh, you're a giga card, huh? After playing this card, heal one HP at the end of your turn. But it's gotta have a downside, man. It's gotta have a downside, right? It's gotta have a downside, right, chat? Nothing was like a, like a music it makes when it eats a human. The girl begged in tears, Mr. Please cut off my feet.
Why is this card blue? I don't know. I don't know why it's blue. I don't know why it's blue. What? Huh? What the hell just happened? Wait, I can remove a debuff from myself. Do you think I can remove the Sneko? If you play another no abnormality while this effect is active, remove the effect and deal 20 damage. Guys, I could heal one HP here. Okay, so this should be a relic. You no longer have maximum hand size. If you lose more than 60 HP in a single combat, you die. I'm not scared. Whether you play a card, whenever you play a card with ethereal, exhaust it. When you play a card, when you play this card, a random card gains ethereal. It's fine. Oh. Chat, make the decision. Bonfire spirits. Boom, 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 boom. I don't want to. No, I do want to shame. Give me feed. Holy fucking ass! My deck is going crazy, dude. Okay, so it's currently at zero still. My brain, dude. My brain can't take this shit, dude. I took too much. Chat, please, can you give them heat? 
did so much damage! I have no idea what the fuck is going on, dude. Okay, if we can have an in Wait. If we can have an infinite number of cards in our hand. I need a warm hug right now. Okay, I want to know what that card does. It's the blood card. Uncontrollable. Deals 16 damage to all enemies. Becomes active after playing it once. But he's just a little guy. He's just helping. Hell yeah, I love that. Chat start a hype train? That's so incredible. I'm so happy for you. Truly, truly. This guy. I will. I don't think I'm gonna be able to kill this guy. I think. Yeah, I got too much of my shit sucked off there, I think. Shrug it off plus. Okay. Control of 16 damage becomes active after played once. This card is in your hand at the end of your turn. Deal 25% of its damage to yourself. Playing this card while it is active also triggers the same effect. Okay. Okay. No blood for blood with all the chip damage? I don't know what's causing the chip damage, man. I'm trying to figure that out. I'm trying to solve the damn mystery of my entire goddamn existence. This is good. I'll take a Beauty and the Beast. I'm enjoying this, but it's also like hurting my brain, you know? <sighs> Deal seven damage, draw a card. If you play two cards of the same type in a row, exhaust the latter card. So essentially when you play the card, it activates when you play it so that every time it activates, you play the card and activates and the card plays when... <laughs> yeah, do you get it? Mr. Prime, my brain hurts. I'm sorry. Blood potion's huge, man. Do I need this for some AoE? No, I have the AoE in the form of that other card. Could also take a Scorched Girl. But it exhausts when played. No, 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 I can't take a Scorched Girl because it'll exhaust. I can't, I can't exhaust it right now. I definitely think I need this. I'll take that. Um, take that. Take that.
This guy's in shoot mode. This guy's attacking me for 18. Man, Frost Prime really has changed. He used to thank every sub, but now he won't even thank his longtime subs and mods. What has the world come to? What do you mean? This guy's now in shoot mode. Frost lost it to a damn minion. Yeah. It did. I think I have to heal here because I'm pretty sure I'm going to die. Alright, I was going to take some damage, sorry. Okay, sick, 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 sick. Okay, that's big. That's big, 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 big. We could take a backwards clock here. This is a relic, by the way. We could take a backwards clock. Stick something new. Raise your max HP by 10. When an enemy dies, draw one card. If you end combat with all enemies... Wait. If you end a combat with all enemies alive, lose 50% max HP. Huh? Let's unlock some shit. The start of combat become confused. Uncontrollable. Your hand costs one energy less. The start of combat, mark four random cards. Play a marked card to remove the mark. Marked cards have a dark blue glow. The end of turn three, transform a random marked card into a little prince. Exhaust all other marked cards. What? Yo, thanks for the dono. For ETL, for I have to give up. It's too embarrassing. The minions, Alfred, they started following the Joker. Every time I show up, they make fart noises and make fun of my tights, Alfred. The Joker doesn't even take me serious anymore. It's exhausting random cards and I still don't completely understand it, dude. I'm still not completely with it. Is money am i allowed to call you a bozo now yeah you can that's it i'm pulling out the big girl hey damn it i still don't even have 30 percent
Nice voice crack, bozo. Nice voice crack, bozo. That's what you sound like. Stop giving me things that just heal one HP! Fuck! At least it's free. It's never free, man. It's never free. It's never free. When will you learn? This card is in your hand at the end of your turn. Exhaust another random card in your hand and increase the healing value of this card by one to a maximum of three. Guys, I don't think that Bloodbath's gonna have a single bad side effect. What? What the hell just... What is going on?! Did that just heal me for one HP? It was plus three. I'm losing it. I'm going to lose it, man. No, I think I'm going to lose it, chat. No, I think I'm going to lose it. I think I'm going to lose my damn mind. Right, let's figure out the end of Bloodbath. If three cards are exhausted on the effect of this card, playing this card randomly exhausts another card and resets the healing value of this card. This is all I see. This is all I see is a bunch of fucking yapping. The red... Wait. The red can drink... Wait. The red can drink has a distinctive aroma. The, the red can. The red can drink has a distinctive aroma and sweetness. And it can heighten the energy. Open can of well cheers. But it's purple right now. And the purple like ended my turn a bunch of times, man. Dude, I needed the fucking scorched girl. Yo, thank you for the gifted sub, I'm... This mod makes no sense. This mod makes complete sense. You're just obviously not an intellectual. I am, though.
I love a Beauty and the Beast. Marbles is insane. Wait, did the bunny stream have ads again? Hell yeah. Happened. What the fuck just happened? <laughs> Apply one slow exhaust. Yeah, I don't think that's just what you do there, bud. Judging by what has happened. Makes a random card in my hand, nine cost. Oh. Wait, I need to see what it does. When this card is used when this card exhausts freeze a random card increase its cost by nine and add a duel to your hand fuck you fuck you for not telling me fuck you for not telling me i'm gonna say it you know what fuck you for not telling me fuck you for not telling me sorry i said that guys No idea what the fuck just happened there. Darkstone parry apt is every single card that I get a fucking curse. I want to figure out what this card does because we never unlocked the end. The blue aluminum can contains an odorless liquid with strong carbonic acid is effective in restoring mental strength. If someone offers you a can of grape flavored soda, you must reject it. So it appears as a random color, and then I play it if it's if it's not grape. If it's grape, you don't take it. <laughs> Train me. Express train to hell. At the end of your turn, light one light. If four lights are lit at the end of your turn, deal 50 damage to all creatures and extinguish all lights. Active. Upgrade cards in your hand according to lit lights and extinguish all lights. What? Yeah, you are the big bad wolf, buddy. You're big and naughty. Deal nine damage. Old lady. When this card is in your hand, increase its cost by one for every other card you play. Playing this card reduces its cost by one. Hey, yo. Don't say hey, yo, about the old lady. Do not say hey, yo, about the old lady, man. Don't say that. Okay, let's take some more cards. Old lady's done. That's done. When below 50% of your max HP, you deal 40% more damage. Gain eight block. Augment of the universe. I'm dealing so much damage. What is doing this? Oh, it's literally because I'm below half HP. When I'm on drugs. 
I did it. It did nothing. We got to take more cards. We got to unlock stuff. Lesson learned, please. At the start of combat, gain one artifact. When this exhaust become confused. Okay. I'm confused a little bit, but like... That's neither here nor there. Don't ask, chat. Don't ask. Don't ask. Don't ask. I see you asking. Stop. Don't. <laughs> Duel requires a non-frozen attack card to activate. The higher damage value, the more likely to succeed. After succeeding a duel, reduce the cost of the frozen card by 9 and gain 3 HP. If the duel fails, exhaust the selected card and the frozen card. Do I want to go to 1 HP here? I don't think so. No, thank you. <laughs> My ass is confused. Just give me a little bit more block on vigilance. I don't know what I'm doing, man. I'm just clicking shit. It drew the wellness. What the fuck? Why did that happen? I still don't understand the damn duel, man. Do I just have Dark Embrace on a card? What? I downloaded the mod and got a card that says subscribe to Frost Prime or the Day of Reckoning will be upon you. Thoughts? <laughs> Deal 22 damage. If your health is currently higher than 20% of your max HP, lose 40 HP, 4 HP, and deal an additional 50 damage. When this card is in your hand, a random card gains exhaust whenever you... Wait. A random card gains exhaust whenever you exhaust a card. Me when I just be saying shit? No, not this guy again. No, not this fucker again, man. No, dude. That's what happens when you don't subscribe or like the video. Wait, time's too big. It's like, I hate this mod, but I'm having a lot of fun. Like, it sucks. I'm having a stupid amount of fun. What about this mod do you hate? Did I die? I noticed that things are not going smoothly for you recently. Perhaps you feel a sense of defeat, but I hope you don't mind it as much. As you continue to work harder, everything will be all right. Although nothing will take effect immediately. It can be said that your previous failure have brought benefits to the future. Don't you think that is worth celebrating? For this, I have prepared a bottle of champagne, which has been treasured for a long time. I hope this brings you a bit of consolation and also to celebrate your previous results. Cheers. 
Do you know the proper way to drink a glass of champagne? Hold it in the lower stem of the glass and savor the bu bubbles. Yeah, just like that. Rabbit team? I just want to see what rabbit team does. What the fuck is this mod, man? The rabbit team can be called upon once per turn. Maximum four targets can point. You will need 250 PE per pointed target. The rabbit team automatically withdraws when all targets die. <laughs> Purification. Pew, pew, pew. This is so wild, man. This shit is wild, dude. Should we play this again? Slay the streamer with this mod? Wait, can I turn this on real quick? Oh my God, it does. You guys can't reroll, but that's fine. That's cool. That's crazy. That's wild. So it is possible to do slay the streamer with this mod. I don't think it's winnable if Chad gets to pick. Nah, I can win. Are we doing this now? No, I don't have time to do it now. Hundred dollars? Okay. I don't have time to do it today. Um, no, we can do it next. We can do it on Monday. Yeah, let's plan for next Monday.